Good day, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to today's uh, another second episode of what I'm going to be doing, just like the why I did it on Friday. Now, you may have noticed that that video I actually made on Friday, that is actually uploaded on the same day that I'm actually filming this video right here. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be doing this time, um, I'm going to focus on doing a whole bunch of bird watching, which will be quite uh, interesting somehow. Um, Oh god, there's a creepy shed here. Oh, uh, I must well focus on that side here, eh? Uh, I'm just kidding. I'll focus any side, whatever I want to. Um, but yes, I'm going to be doing some hardcore bird watching outside of this garden. Uh, because, well, hopefully it doesn't. I'll probably film this video and then when it gets dark, I'll probably run for my life. <laughs> no creepy people are going to be um, coming throughout me uh, during the making of this video. Uh, just hardcore bird watching, obviously. I mean, why the hell not would I be able to just make a video uh, time and time and time again? It's really fun. Okay, we've got the um, cherry blossom here. What's with all that smoke billowing from that side here? I've got no idea. It's quite a blustery day today. And um, obviously, I don't want to get too close uh, to a neighborhood because I believe he's watching TV or something, or maybe he's playing with his PlayStations. And hopefully I just want to ignore that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, we've got a bird here. We've actually got a couple of birds. We've got a wood pigeon and a seagull. I think it's lesser blackback. And I might as well go straight forward a little close uh, to see what those birds were. Uh, I'm pretty sure these were wood pigeons on that tree here. But I don't think you can see them because... I've got a seagull trying to distract the hell out of me. I can't really tell how clear it is. And there's a kid screaming on the background here, eh? I'm quite sensitive over all these days. You know, when YouTube of today, you just got to be really careful what you upload these days, uh, especially with children. Uh, that's just something I feel like um, that's going to be a bit of a very big trend. On years to come on YouTube these days. Sadly, I think that's how it is these days. Oh, oh well. Let's just go ahead and lift into a very positive um, event. Or Oh, here's another one. Okay, we've got another seagull just trying to follow up with his mate. Again, I can hear the screaming kid. Obviously, that's the problem when you have kids on videos. You know, YouTube will obviously try and, you know, Determine if the video is made for kids or not and Hopefully it's not one of these videos where it's a kids video because it just disallows people to comment on people's videos on YouTube You know commenting on people's videos on YouTube was something the go get type thing on Today's you know what you what really used to be to you know today's YouTube is very much a travesty and honestly, I don't know how many birds I might be able to survey at this backyard garden. Uh, but it is quite a beautiful day outside. Again, I can see the moon here. Remember I did that video back then sometime? Uh, the moon has looked a lot more different. I think I can see some wood pigeon activity. Uh, I might as well just be very careful. Uh, I can't quite recall. I'm going to go relatively careful. And I think that wood pigeon has moved to a different tree because of me. Um, I bet those fir trees here do support a very huge variety of bird life here. And there's a magpie which has actually perched onto a much larger tree here and has gone off already now. Um, I can hear some blackbirds and uh, blue tits and great tits and stuff. Uh, I can see that the wood pigeon is feeding on something on a tree not far off from the cherry blossoms. And I think he, I think they're pretty much together. I think that's a duo. There's one of the mates here. And tell you what, there's actually quite a fair bit of them feeding. You know, I normally tend to think wood pigeons are very solitary creatures during the breeding season. Not really, no. Uh, they're actually quite gregarious birds. And we've got a noisy little siren on the background here. And, you know, I don't know how much I could really say, but... 
well, don't know if I can get some really clear video to um, get those pigeons back into action. My video camera is not really the best. And I tell you what, it's getting kind of dark, so I might have to probably um, go inside before the cops will find me. And those pigeons are having a wonderful feast outside. I tell you what, oh, I think one of them's starting to fly away here. Maybe if I wait for the colour of the sky to change, well then, maybe that will be the big clue here. I don't know what these birds are feeding, those pigeons are feeding on the trees for for what? And there's quite a lot of, quite a lot of wing beating and flapping going on here. And obviously I can hear more bird sounds. But, um, oh I can hear the melodious sound of the robin here. Uh, so I'm just walking around here, uh, I can't see any. Obviously it's the evening as I'm making this video here, we've just swifted and just basically shifted a bit in time because we're going into summer uh, currently about springtime-ish and obviously I think the wood pigeons have decided to um, well there's about one, two, three of them and we've got a crow here and I think those pigeons are actually starting to frolic around the trees and stuff I'm not sure if they're fighting or if they're just attempting to mate it's that time of the year, isn't it? A lot of wing beats and stuff. I couldn't tell if it was a carrion crow or a raven. Maybe the, um... Oops, so I've just... <laughs> that there's just abandoned uh, stuff here, I believe it's... I don't know what that is. Maybe plastic and all. Couldn't really work out what it is. Um, I've no idea. Uh, I think that's just an abandoned piece of... I don't know. Crud, I just don't want to swear on YouTube, I'm sorry, but that would have been used to be, you know, I would say the top, I would say the transparent plastic thingy, I can't really tell. Uh, what's going on with these pigeons? There's a lot of endless flapping going on here. Um, yeah. Obviously, the sound say I've got no idea what they're doing. Well, one thing I can say is, is that they're very good for, like, uh, Tops on like canopies and stuff. I can't really think of, but um, they're very much commonly found underneath on people's houses and stuff, especially in you know in the garden type areas and whatnot. They're actually very good for use in like you know shade structures if it was really hot in summer, I guess. Well, I feel like my mouth is just pretty much unknown what to say here because it's just pretty much getting almost quite dismally dark and I tell you what today has been quite a bit windy but um a bit breezy but hi hey, quite nice to um, do a bit of filming a bit of bird life involved that's all obviously somehow I can't see any more bird life around here apart from the local pigeons uh, if I go around here it's not that clear uh, maybe I might try and find out where the pigeons are and it's somehow pretty unknown maybe if I try and point my finger around here it's possibly here and there's more pigeons around here there are a lot of wood pigeons here uh, I don't know where it is maybe I need to be very still and find out where they are oh here it is I think I can see him he's right in the middle right there can you see the silhouettes moving uh, one of these silhouettes is a wood pigeon moving and there's actually about two here trying to monitor where these two pigeons I feel like I've got very big powerful eagle like hawk eyes um, obviously I can't really tell um, but yeah that's somehow very much you know interesting to see as funny as that sounds. Whoa, I think one of them's going... I think there's a mating pair going on here. If I just duck down, there's actually a pair of pigeons just perching together. Oh, I think I can see them. I can see them. They're right here. And it's getting quite blustery here. And, um, yeah, I think that's probably about it in this video. I think this is actually uh, the sort of video that I just feel like I just didn't want to even make 
But that's all because I can tell you what this sky here. Well, it's coming out towards night time, and oh my god, I could tell you what, guys, I hate to upset the apple cart of this entire neighborhood as I'm just talking nonsense overall. I feel like I am because there's nobody around here. Well, I better leave this video here. That's all I could just watch, birds and all. But um, please give this video a like, subscribe for more flip videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye for now.